Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, we have seen the introduction to sequences and series. But in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the n term of a linear sequence known as arithmetic progression sequence. So we are given a question here where we are asked to find the missing terms of the following sequence. And this is the sequence. We are given the first term as 2, second term as 5, third term, fourth term, and three subsequent missing terms, including the last term. And we want to find all of these missing terms. So let's go ahead and find the solution to this problem. But first of all, what is n term? n stands for the number of term. So if you are referring to the first number here, which is 2, that number is what first term because n is equal to 1. And if you are referring to this number 11, you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4. It is said to be the fourth term where n is equal to 4 in that term. So the fourth term is equal to 11 in that order. So if this is fourth term, this is going to be fifth term. This is sixth term. This is seventh term while this one is n term in general so we want to find fifth term sixth term seventh term as well as the n term okay now let us provide a solution to this problem if you can recall from our previous lesson i told you a linear sequence or an arithmetic sequence has a constant common difference and what is that constant common difference is that number you can add to a term to obtain the subsequent term. For instance, 2 plus d, which is constant common difference, will give us the subsequent term, which is 5. So how can we obtain this d? We can just make it the subject. d is now equal to 5 minus 2. And d is now equal to 3. And this works for all the terms in this sequence. Take this term, subtract 5, you're getting 3. Take this minus 8, you're getting 3 as well. Therefore, we can use this constant common difference to obtain these three extra terms. And let us go ahead and do that. For fifth term, it will be equal to the fourth term plus the constant common difference. And what is our fourth term? The fourth term is 11. So this is equal to 11 plus the constant common difference, which is 3. And this will give us 14. Again, for the sixth term, it can be obtained by taking the fifth term plus D. And the fifth term has already been obtained as 14. So we can use it plus the constant common difference to get the sixth term. Sixth term can now be equal to 14 plus 3 and this is equal to 17 now let us obtain the seventh term the seventh term will be equal to the sixth term that is the previous term plus the constant common difference this is equal to 17 plus 3 and hence this is equal to 20 therefore the fifth sixth and the seven terms are 14 17 and 20 respectively let me even write them here we have 14 17 and 20 but the question is how can we obtain this n term so now let us formulate a formula here that will guide us in finding every single term in this sequence Okay, now remember we are looking for the nth term. And this n term can serve for every member here. It will be equal to. Remember, from every term to the subsequent term, we need to add 3. And this works for all the terms. Therefore, we need 3 times table first. 3n. These are our terms. And we need to also find the three times table. 
substituting the value of n equal to 1, 2, up to n. So when n is equal to 1, we have 3 multiplied by 1 equal to 30. When n equal to 2, we have 3 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 6. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. And lastly, 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. Now observe something here. All our terms are one less than our three times table. Because two is one less than three, 17 is one less than 18. And therefore we have to subtract one from here. And this formula is used to find every term in this sequence. So now let us take these numbers at random to see whether this statement is true. So first we are looking for 8 here. You can see 8 is time number 30. All we have to do is to substitute n equal to 30 in this formula. So we have the third term when n equal to 30. This is equal to 3 multiplied by 30 minus 1. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. And this statement is true. Now let us take this term, which is term number 7. The 7 term will be equal to 3 multiplied by 7, then minus 1. This is equal to 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. So therefore, this formula works for all terms in this sequence. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.